the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire. For Write this down, please. What is the implication of being on the Lord's side? Number one, the Lord's side is the side of protection and preservation. Please write it down. The Lord's side is the side of protection and preservation. Psalm 63 and verse 8. Psalm 63 and verse 8. He said, my soul followeth hard after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. The Lord's side. I'm discussing the implications of being on the Lord's side. What are the merits? Is there any benefit of being on the Lord's side? That number one, the Lord's side is the side of protection and preservation. John 17 and verse 12. Jesus is praying now. John 17 and verse 12, 1, 2, John 17, 12. He says, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. Those that you gave me, those that came to me, I have kept. He says, and none of them is lost except the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 2. Is God speaking to us already? 2 Timothy 1, 12, my apologies. 1 verse 12. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 12. It says, For which things cause I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed. Powerful scripture. And I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. That when you come to his side and commit things or commit your life, he is able to keep even against that day. So when Moses is asking who is on the Lord's side, he's asking who desires to be on the side of protection and preservation. Please look at me. There is no in the world that we live in right now, there is no amount of physical security that is enough to protect an individual from the spiritual, emotional, and even physical harm and mayhem that plagues our society. We have seen people attacked with the most sophisticated security architecture. We've seen people become victims of something the psalmist calls the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilences by night, is that true? The destruction that wastes in noonday. We've seen people healthy and strong, yet they died. We've seen people attempting to manage mysterious sicknesses that doctors and, you know, medics are not able to diagnose. The Lord's side means immunity against the wickedness and the mayhem that plagues our world. In fact, the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. You believe that? It says the righteous run it to it and they are saved. That some trust in horses and chariots. Now you must understand that horses and chariots are very important. The armies in ancient times who climb on horses and chariots to fight. So it says some trust in horses and chariots, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. The Lord's side is a side of protection and preservation. I don't know about you, but I submit to you by the integrity of the word that the days that are coming will require supernatural protection and supernatural protection preservation because you see for many of you the way God is training you and the way God is raising you there are altars that fought people who went before you at the moment someone begins to rise from a family here comes these wicked spirits and this altar it says what seest thou and he said four horns 
these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, and against Israel. He says, so that no man doth lift up his head. Have you seen a scenario where someone who now becomes the breadwinner or the one God is lifting to wipe the tears of a family and all of a sudden he will tell you, I just went out and a bike hit me. Shout God forbid. forbid. One more time, shout God forbid. forbid. Who is on the Lord's side means who is interested in securing the protection and the preservation of Elohim in these perilous times, these evil days. Where someone can give you a kiss as Judas, you will think it's a kiss of love, but it's a sign to the enemy, this is the one to kill. Have you not heard of people who arrange the kidnap of their fathers, their brothers, and they join the people to cry? The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Is someone getting blessed already? Let me tell you the truth. It's good to be in the side of the police. It's good to be this, on the side of the law enforcement agencies, the DSS, they have their place, excellent people. It's good to be in the side of all kinds of people. It's good to be in the side of um, doctors and medics and paramedics. But the Lord is asking you a question. If God does not build a house, who will claim that he can build it for you? Are we together? Yes. Who is on the Lord's side? Meaning who is on the side of preservation? I don't know about you, but I'm not ready to risk my life giving a chance to trust mundane things and people. I have found that God is the only one who can protect a man. The Bible says he stands by me as a mighty terrible one. I don't know the arrows that fly by day. I don't know how many shrines my name is taken to every day. I don't know how many shrines coin. You will be joking to believe everybody loves you. You will be joking to think that while you are praying in tongues, while you are rising and declaring, God lift me. I hope you know that while you are making up your mind to be a blessing, Satan is also a witness. He's watching your prayer. He's watching your sacrifice. He's already seen the formation of the anointing upon you. He knows you are an apostle, right? for sure he knows you're a prophet rising for sure he knows that you're a kingdom entrepreneur rising for sure and I assure you by the integrity of scripture Satan will do all within his power don't say I did not trouble anyone the fact that you found yourself on this side of God's kingdom and you made up your mind for Jesus a line has been drawn who is on the Lord's side who is on the side of safety and preservation our forefathers even though they did not serve the god of heaven they were intelligent enough to know that they would never leave home without protection am i right on that they had all kinds of things they would tie some they would swallow some some of us even growing up sadly Maybe we were victims of some of these people. They made all kinds of incisions. They made incantations. They were not evil. It was their way. They knew that the war is risky to walk without protection and preservation. Someone can shake your hand and say, how are you? I've not seen you for 10 years. And from the day he shook your hand, you don't know whether it's HIV or it's cancer. You just know you are losing weight. You just know you are not seeing well. What is happening to you? Where did you go to? I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wait. For the Lord sustains me. The Lord a shield for me. My glory my Prophesy it upon your destiny.
once you're seated i like you to begin to prophesy protection upon yourself and upon your children no power no enchantment no charm will walk over my life in the name of jesus i declare that i am on the lord's side oh they shall gather but that their gathering is not of god there is a mysterious force that will scatter them declare prayer covering over your children over your ministry i will not be the victim of the conclusion of the wickedness of men immune by the jealousy and the preserving power of elohim someone pray i have no covenant with death i have no covenant with destruction i have no covenant with necromancy and invocation of dark powers activities of familiar spirits hallelujah 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 the higher you rise in life the more you must understand the mystery of preservation please hear what i'm telling you i'm not scaring you but i'm opening you to the reality of the world that we live in are we together what did jesus do to command attacks all he needed to do was exploits and a, a group of people gathered and said this person is making news too much no this he's the whole city is turning towards him what do we do now who can we use what can we use let me prophesy to someone any gathering in the name of jesus the son of the living god where your name is mentioned for evil may fire consume that gathering may fire consume that gathering may fire consume that gathering in the name of jesus christ hear me let me speak over any man of god here any attack to fight your mantle every attack to fight your church every orchestration of darkness to fight your relevance it goes down in the name of jesus please sit down this is the reason why it matters whose side you are Jesus told us that we have the liberty to serve many things, not just many gods. In fact, you can choose God or mammon. You can choose the God of heaven or Baal. You can choose God of heaven or whatever kind of thing. You can even serve yourself, be the God of yourself. Like the rich fool said, my soul find rest. Number two. What does it mean to be on the Lord's side? What is the implication of being on the Lord's side in this day and in this time? Are you ready now? The Lord's side is the side of power. The Lord's side is the side of power. It says, our Lord God, thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. If God needed power to make the heavens and the earth, it would take power to make anything in your life, including the future that you desire. Our Lord God, he says, thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. My apologies, Jeremiah 32 and you find 16, 17, 17. Our Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. Please write this scripture down and don't forget it. In this world, you need power. Yes, sir. Power. Power to subdue. Power against. The Bible says, as many as believed in him, he gave them power. Not just an information. The disciples had knowledge, but he said, tarry. Knowledge alone will fail you. Carry on till you are endued with power. Man of God, you do ministry in this end time without securing power. Businessman, without securing power, you will be a casualty for nothing. Power. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says that they found the nation of Israel gathered together and they assumed a certain formation with the ark being in their center. And when they called on Balaam to curse them, he tried and it did not work. He said, listen, a shout of the king is in the midst of them. There is a formation that has produced power that no matter what it is that has come, is being resisted. It takes power to be wealthy and to retain wealth. It takes power to raise children with the wicked options that plague our world. That your child will ask you a question that you cannot sleep because of something he has learned somewhere. Growing up, if parents did not want you to watch certain things, all they needed to do was to off the television. And everyone knows that it's over. But right now, you off the TV, they own many other things many other things the bible says there is as it were many voices and that none of them is without signification who is on the lord's side means who is interested in accessing power to remain power to continue power to subdue number three what is the implication of being on the lord's side are you ready for number three the lord's side is a side of victory the lord's side is a side of victory the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous the shout of joy and victory shall not depart listen the tent of the righteous victory now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph listen look up please for the believer in christ challenges are not unusual no it is defeat that is unusual it is not unusual to be challenged whether in your health whether in your finances whether in your marriage whether with your children it's not unusual did your Bible not say many are the afflictions of the but it does not stop there it says the Lord delivered him from them how many so the moment you find yourself in a disturbing situation before you try to manage it, verify whose side you are standing on. Who is on the Lord's side, meaning who is on the side of victory. As a man of God, if you are not on the Lord's side, respectfully speaking, you can choose the side of manipulation, you can choose the side of outsourcing negative demonic powers, in the end it will fail and fail woefully. Who is on the Lord's side? The Lord's side is the side of victory. Can I give us two more? Number four, the Lord's side is the side of joy and pleasure. Joy and pleasure. Yes, sir. Joy and pleasure. Psalm 16 and verse 11. The Lord's side is the side of joy and pleasure. Let's read it together if you're a child of God. Ready? One, two, read. Thou will show me the path of life. Uh-huh. In thy presence is fullness of joy at thy right hand. So if you are not in his presence, you are not at his right hand, you will not see joy and you will not see pleasure. Hallelujah. There are people in this season that in the midst of lack, in the midst of want, in the midst of economic turmoil, God will place garments of honor upon them that you look at their lives and you marvel and wonder and say, wow, look, it looks like there is famine in Samaria. How come these people are enjoying abundance like this? Because when you come to the Lord's side, you have come to the side of joy, you have come to the side of pleasure. He said, he that told you have asked for nothing, he says to ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Which of you, the Bible says, whose father, give us Matthew chapter 7 now, from verse 7, ask and you shall receive, he says, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Is that true? Verse 8, he says, for everyone that asketh receiveth, everyone that asketh receive it watch this if you believe that i have something to help you and you want to ask me you're not going to stand from a distance to ask me you have to draw close to my direction is that true coming on the lord's side meaning you are coming to the side of the one who you believe has all things to give you and he said everyone who comes close enough to ask to seek to knock there is there is a guarantee 
that it shall be opened that you shall find hallelujah that which of you will your sons ask for bread and you give him a stone or ask for fish and you give him a serpent that if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children how much more will your heavenly father give the holy ghost to them that ask him ladies and gentlemen please hear me you will live a very sad life a very defeated life by every standard and every definition if you reject the Lord's side and technology respectfully speaking has his side culture has his side are we together the devil directly has his side experience also has his side but those who will win in this time are those who choose the Lord's side for the way of the Lord is the way I choose the way of the Lord sing it one more time from your heart for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom You can do ministry the way you think they are doing it you can do business the way you think they are doing it and people gather you and say this is how they do it now or you can choose that I will be on the Lord's side may be unpopular but that is still the Lord's side the Bible says narrow is the way that leads to life and there are few that follow thereof it says broad is the way Huh? that leads to destruction and many this is how society is doing it now when you want a job this is how to do it huh? yes when you want to do ministry you want a crowd there is somebody who will give you something you eat it or rub it or do whatever you do with it if you want money from people members there is a way you do it <laughs> for the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom I choose the way listen the Bible says in Daniel chapter 1 and verse 8 it says and Daniel purposed in his heart that he will not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat what was wrong with the portion of the king's meat was it the animal that was slaughtered no it was the sacrifice and the covenant that was connected to it there was a particular dedication that those animals those rituals and he said no I have a covenant with God I know that it's a pleasure to come and eat with the king but I know what you've done with that animal I know that you have sacrificed it to a God somewhere and I will not do anything that would defile my honor to the king and he had to eat leaves vegetables and water after 10 days when they came and presented themselves they found that he was he was healthier he was fresher are we together the Lord's side is the side of joy and pleasure can I tell you do not generalize the fact that there's economic hardship everywhere do not generalize the fact that things are not working everywhere while I respect and sympathize with our world today and our society that these things uh, they are not they are not on true statements but there is a place of immunity the Lord's side is a place of exemption where people can be exempted and you can enjoy pleasure you can enjoy joy and abundance even in the midst of scarcity did the Bible not say when men say there is a casting down for you depending on whose side you are don't claim the scripture till you verify whose side you are. There are many who keep confessing, I will say there is a lifting up. But then they are speaking from a side that is far from God's side. It may not be your experience. Number five. What is the fifth implication of being on the Lord's side? Is the Lord teaching someone tonight? The Lord's side is the side of rest round about. The Lord's side, oh hallelujah, this is powerful. The side of rest round about. 
rest round about in matthew chapter 11 and verse 28 please give it to us matthew 11 28 jesus said come unto me all ye that labor the word labor there does not mean diligence profitless work toiling and a heavy leaden he says and i will give you rest he never said, I will give you a job. He never said, I will give you a child. He never said, I will give you business. He said, I will give you rest. You know what that means? Whatever it is that will put you in a state of rest, including the things that you do not even know you need, when you come to me, I will give you more than what you ask for. The goal is to find rest. The Bible says, there remained a rest for the people of God. Rest. On all sides rest on all sides Genesis 24 and verse 1 let me show you what rest roundabout looks like Genesis 24 and verse 1 everybody please read together this is the Bible's definition of rest ready one to read and Abraham was old and well stricken in age uh-huh and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things say all things one more time say all things. all things rest show me a man who has chosen to be on the Lord's side forget about what you think is not in place eventually that person's life will be left a praise to the nations yes sir there were people who as at the time they came to the Lord's side there were many things that were not working in their lives maybe their marriages maybe their finances maybe their children but they were determined to stay in the Lord's side. And eventually, Isaac for Sarah, Samuel for Anna. Are we together? Yes. Gideon became a warrior. Joseph became a king. Daniel was exalted to become one of the presidents. When you choose the Lord's side, he may have a momentary discomfort. But I assure you by the God of heaven that if you make up your mind that no matter what happens, I will choose the Lord's side. In other words, you would have been married if only you compromised your faith and followed the man just for money. But you made up your mind and said, I'm going to do it God's way. It may cost me, they may laugh at you and say, you will sit down there and grow old. Or maybe some kind of mockery, but you've made up your mind that if it is not the Lord's side, I am not going. You would have given bribe or you would have gone to do some things and you would have been walking by now. And people look at you those who did it that you did not do will look at you and laugh at you and say you see me practicing all this and I'm being promoted I'm now a director you are still there unemployed there are times that it looks stupid to be on the Lord's side but can I tell you the Lord's side is a side of rest roundabout the Bible says mark the wicked their end is destruction so don't you just rejoice when people continue to cut corners and compromise and go forward sometimes they make believers look stupid and wicked they were sharing the money from the bribe in the office and you made up your mind that I will stand with integrity you would have gotten 10 million 100 million and you would have kept quiet nobody will know is God speaking to someone the Lord's side is the side of rest rest roundabout that a day will come they look at you and your children are well behaved because there is a covenant that keeps them in the way of the Lord and they ask you what did you do our own children are giving us headache we're almost losing sleep and your children are so obedient you are so wealthy and yet your children are not lawless and you will tell them I had an option to fast track my life and destroy my life but I made up my mind that I would choose the Lord's side are we together Who is on the Lord's side? Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. Make up your mind from today. And I'm going to ask you to lay your hands on your head shortly and cry that no matter what it takes, I will remain on the Lord's side. Lay your hands on your head and begin to pray. Lay your hands on your head. Begin to pray. Begin to make declarations. That in the name of Jesus, I am on the Lord's side. And no matter what it will cost me, I decree and declare 
that I remain on the Lord's side. Go ahead and pray. How I love to stand for you. How I love to worship you. And even though it hurts me for every step I take. And even though it pains me for every move I make. But I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Pray in one minute. I choose the Lord's side. I may cry while standing on the Lord's side, but I choose the Lord's side. I may lose a lot of things momentarily while standing on the Lord's side, but I choose the Lord's side. I will do ministry the Lord's side, the Lord's way. I will stand on his side. I will grow wealthy standing on the Lord's side, doing it his way. Someone pray. Who is on the Lord's side? In the name of Jesus. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.